I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. This one is question number 3 part C. Express each of the following series in sigma notation. Use lower bound of 1 if not stated. The series is minus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus and so on till plus 13. Uh, we have already done part A and B in other videos for which I have provided a link. So you can go through those also. Now in this particular series, we know the first term which is equal to minus 2. Let us analyze the series. What kind of series is it? If I do 1 minus 2, minus 2, 1 minus minus 2, I get 3. 4 minus 1 is also 3. So it seems to be arithmetic series, right? So in this arithmetic series, we know that d, the value which is being added all the time, is 3. So this is the information which we get. What we don't get here is number of terms. n is something which we don't get. Now we can always find the value of n by using the standard formula for arithmetic sequence, uh, which is nth term should be equals to a plus n minus 1 times d, right? So using this formula, we can find 13 in this series is which term? So let's calculate this. 13 we'll write as the nth term. A is minus 2 for us, plus n minus 1, and d is 3 for us. Correct? So we'll solve this equation to find the value of n. Let us do it here. So what we have here is 13 equal to minus 2. We'll open this bracket, plus 3n and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Bringing these two terms to the left side gives us 13 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 3n, right? And then that is 13 plus 2, 15, 16, 17, 18 equals to 3n, or n is equals to 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So we know here, it is the sixth term, right? So that is the sixth term. Well, some of you could have even added 3 extended till 13, right? So we could write the series as, let me write, minus 2 plus 1. We are adding 3, right? Plus 4, plus 7, plus 10, and plus 13. So you get your number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So exactly the same number, correct? So that is how you could get your series. Now the question is how to write sigma notation. So for sigma notation, we'll simplify the general term Tn. So I'm going to rewrite this term Tn with the values of A as minus 2 uh, plus N minus 1 times. What are we adding? Number 3, right? So let's simplify this. So the general term is minus 2 plus 3N minus 3. Or you could write this as 3n minus 5. So that is your general term. So this general term can be used to write the sigma notation, right? So let's rewrite the sigma this series, which is minus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus so on till 13 in the form of sigma notation. So it is equal to sigma. We are saying i should be starting from lower bound 1. We know total number of terms is 6, so 1 to 6, okay, and now that is the general term, so we could write here, instead of n, we'll write i, since we're taking i as our variable here, right, so it'd be 3i minus 5, do you see that? So that is how you can write this arithmetic series in terms of sigma notation. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.